Happy Tuesday, Mustangs. I'm Michael. And I'm Hadley. Welcome back to SRTV. You don't want to miss out on this if you're graduating this year. Go to the Counselor Corner's website to see current scholarships available to you. You can find this by going to the Academics tab of the Shadow Ridge High School website. I should check if I have any scholarships too. Want to be in the medical field without doing all the dirty work? The College of Southern Nevada is running a health career exploration camp for students entering the 10th, 11th, and 12th grade who are interested in dental assisting, medical assisting, nursing, radiation therapy, sonography, veterinary nursing, and more. The camp is in May after school is out, but applications are due in April. See Miss Murray in the corner to get more information. That camp sounds like it'll be a fun time. We wish we could see your reactions to this amazing class. AP Chemistry is available for those who have taken both Biology and Chemistry. If you're interested, scan the QR code on screen and talk to your counselor during your upcoming pre-registration meeting. Why did the biologists break up with the physicists? I don't know. Why? They had no chemistry. Yeah, okay, Michael. This is definitely a must if someone's going to be heartbroken tomorrow. Principles of Health Science is a new one-year CTE course that covers CPR, first aid, anatomy, healthcare delivery systems, medical terminology, emergency management, health information technology, and legal practices. If you have any questions regarding the course, contact Ms. Stewart in room 909 or email stewall1 at mv.ccsd.net. This wouldn't hurt to try out this course. I hope you're not folding under the pressure. Former cadets, this is your reminder to turn in your uniforms, items dry cleaned. Items can be turned into the main office or into room 406. Fines have already been assigned to your student account. Contact Master Sergeant Jackie Zimmerman or Senior Master Sergeant Donna Johnson for more questions or concerns. Let's round this year off with some clean and fit uniforms. If you want that same uniform or are thinking about classes and are joining the military, then ROTC has got your back. Or keep your bearing. Automatic dress, white dress. Automatic. So the difference between ROTC to me and versus a normal class is probably just how well we all get along and the way we interact with each other is very different from a normal class. Veterans Day Parade, where we were able to march in the parade as a whole unit, and I was able to lead our unit and we do fall festivals. So in ROTC, I am the wing commander. I'm a cadet major. So I'm in charge of everybody in our unit. So all of cadets, I kind of help run everybody in the unit in our day-to-day -day operations. For me, I think the biggest difference between ROTC and a regular class is that ROTC is cadet ran. There's a, a rank system between the, the students and it varies off of your uh, involvement in the program and also your year group and how long you've been in the program. A second structure of ranks, which is the offers for ranks, and that is achievable by going through the cadet leadership course. A one week long course that we host over summer. Uh, last year we invited a couple cadets and we did it with uh, Cimarron High School. And it's basically just to teach you about leadership and uh, physical fitness. Tomorrow is Valentine's Day. Show your love for someone by sending a Valentine's Day gram. Project One will be selling grams during all lunches in the cafeteria today. Spend $4 to get that special someone a bracelet, candy, and note. This will be delivered to their class tomorrow. Funds raised will be used for future community service projects sponsored by Project One. This is a great small gift to say I love you. It's time to step on up to the plate, Mustangs. Get ready for the softball tryouts on February 17th. The check-in will begin at 8. Make sure you've gotten your register my athlete completed and approved before you go. I hope you are excited for another season of running the bases. Absolute domination. Our seniors on the flag football team had a senior night last Thursday against Cheyenne, and they beat them 24 to nothing. Our stars of the game were Janai Sanders with the pick six, Aliyah Jaime with an interception, and Isabel Turo and Mackenzie Sinai each had a sack. Seems our team have been on the offense and working hard. Speaking of working hard, last Friday, the flag football team went on to beat Virgin Valley 7-0, making back-to-back -back day shutouts for the ladies. The stars of the game were Jaylani Palmer with the game-winning touchdown, Mariah Stevens-Walden with 15 flag pulls, and Jimena Barraza with two sacks. They play their final regular season game today against Centennial at the Ridge, so show up and be loud. After games like that, you gotta cheer extra loud for them. 
Want some fuel after all that cheering? Lunch has got your back. Today on the lunch menu, there will be cheeseburger with lettuce, twice grilled cheese quesadilla, and a bean and cheese chalupa. The student store will have Mackay Island. Tomorrow, they will have cheese pizzas, pepperoni pizza, crispy chicken bistro salad, and sweet and sour chicken. The student store will serve Panda Express. I can't wait. This is definitely going to be just what I need. Don't forget to succeed and excel, and thank you so much for watching.